And now I'm going to mount this Bushnell Buckhorn, one and a half to four and a half variable scope. And I realize it's not a very expensive scope. In fact, it's a very inexpensive scope. But for this, it'll be just perfect. Can't tell you how happy I am after that last group. Oh my goodness, with open sights, that was incredible. I'm almost afraid what this is going to shoot like. Because obviously it's not the gun, it's the shooter that needs to get better. Let's go see how we did. This is a really good example of why I don't trust bore sighting. This was the bullseye I was aiming at. And here are my three shots. One, two, three. I'm probably 14 inches to the right, just a little bit down in elevation. But 14 inches to the right, oh my goodness. Just a good reason why I would never trust bore sighting. So we'll go adjust for that and shoot again. I can actually see two of the rounds through the scope. And they're significantly to the right and low. I would say they are at least oh, four inches to the right center and a little low so I'm just gonna move it to the left again and I'll shoot some more that should move it three inches to the right and this is what a target looks like at a hundred yards through in a four and a half power scope here we are with the last two five shot groups. One, two, three, four, five, six. And remember I said I shot at this target accidentally with the Remington ammunition. So I would hope it's one of these two that's off to the left. Anyhow, that's the 40 grain Winchester ammunition. And that's not bad. The wind is, is quite moderate now. It's dropped quite a bit. It's not still by any means, but it's not bad at all. So I'm very happy with that group out of this rifle at that range. And then this is the Remington ammunition. One, two, three, four, five. And as you can see, it's about one inch low center of the group. And what's interesting is it's one, two, three inches uh, to the left. Same gun, same day, same time, just a different ammunition. So this is that 40 grain Remington pointed soft point firing three inches to the left and actually about an inch low to the center of the group and this is the Winchester 40 grain old old ammunition hollow point what a great day it's been I guess we'll pack things up now and I better head home well it's been an awesome afternoon out here I've learned a lot again isn't that funny the older that we get the more we realize the less we know Anyhow, I've had a great fun, great afternoon, I sighted in a rifle, shot an amazing group with open sights, better than I did with the scope actually, and I compared Remington ammunition, Federal ammunition, and Winchester ammunition. Out of this gun right now, the Winchester 40 grain hollow points are shooting the best. You know, as I shoot this rifle, I think of my father, I think of what a genius he was. I sure wish I could tell him how much I appreciate this gun and how much I enjoy shooting it. And I think back to all the memories I have of my father with this rifle. What great memories. And what great memories I have with my Uncle Tom who gave this gun to my father actually. Miss him too. Hope you guys have good memories. I hope you take the time to have memories with your kids too. Anyways, speaking of memories, my wife has a wonderful chicken dinner waiting for us. Tonight is a special night. It's my birthday. And she's cooking a special birthday supper. And uh, I better not be late for that. So, I hope you've enjoyed today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again on 
out of the house would fall.